This is Lake Erie and today we are going to walk all the way across Ontario until we can dip our hands in Lake Ontario. Are you ready for this? Ready. You're watching 50 Ways to Be Active, Episode 16, Walking. This is my dad. Something you should know about him is that he walks a lot. In fact, no one I know personally walks more than my dad. So when I asked him if he wanted to help me make a video about walking, he instantly said yes. And we wanted to do something walking related that would challenge ourselves as well as hopefully inspire other people to want to walk more too. And somehow we ended up with the idea of walking across Ontario in a day. Wait a minute, you say? Isn't Ontario the second biggest province in the second biggest country in the world? Ontario's bigger than Texas, you can't just walk across it in a day. Well, you can if you do it in the right place. Way back in the 1800s, they built the Welland Canal so that ships could get from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario without having to go over Niagara Falls. And today, there's a really nice trail that runs along the entire length of the canal. And so technically, if you, if you do this whole trail, you're going from one side of Ontario to the other. And sure, this is a lot shorter than if you'd cross Ontario and some other places, but it's still 43.5 kilometers, which is a significant journey and it's farther than either of us had ever gone in a single day before. So this is how we found ourselves driving to Port Colburn, Ontario on the beautiful morning of April 15th. We dipped our hands in Lake Erie and took our first steps just before 8 a.m. The first few kilometers took us through the town of Port Colburn before getting to the trail that goes along the canal it was shaping up to be an absolutely perfect day for walking. We figured that the whole thing would probably take us around eight hours, which means I would have lots of time to ask my dad some questions about his hobby of walking. Since I uh, started walking, it's become a daily thing for me. I have a minimum goal of 10,000 steps every day uh, that I've managed to not miss for Oh, at least two and a half years now. Take a moment to let that sink in. A minimum of 10,000 steps a day. That's more than an hour and a half of walking every single day for over two and a half years. And that's pretty impressive. It's getting close to four years since I started walking. It was a lot of uh, motivation to lose some weight. I got uh, serious about my diet, but I also knew that uh, exercise would be a big help with that. I went shopping for the cheapest Fitbit or it was a Viva Fit. It was just the basic model for about $60. And that's how I got started. I was uh, successful in losing a good amount of weight. I lost 60 pounds, gained a bit of that back, but the walking definitely helps me to keep it off. He went on to explain how he uses goals to stay motivated. My 10 year goal is to walk around the world like I actually walk around the world? Distance of around the world, which is 40,000 kilometers. If you go around at the longest part of the equator. Right. Our antipode is down in just about a thousand kilometers off of western coast of Australia and the southern Indian Ocean. And so where are you currently? I think I'm reaching Reunion Island on our walk today, actually. Oh, nice. That's 10 kilometers, which means we're not quite a quarter of the way there. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Good. I'm actually starting to get a little tired. Don't, Don't tell him that. The first 10 kilometers of our journey had gone quite smoothly. The weather was still nice and we were feeling fresh. However, right around kilometer 13, we ran into a bit of an obstacle. That's annoying, like just for their bit of construction here, they can't keep the trail open. Oh, there's a hole down there. We're getting adventurous here. Going off-road. What are we doing if there's no hole in the fence up here? It's always over. <laughs> At this point, we had come too far. Now we're stuck. So instead of retracing our steps and looking for a detour, we followed the fence to the front of the building to see if there was a way around it there. 
before I really even had time to process what was happening, I found myself following Dad across this narrow ledge, and it started to feel more and more like we probably shouldn't be here. Finally, in a desperate attempt to free ourselves from this construction cage, Dad flipped over a barrel and decided to climb over the fence. All right, <laughs> nothing to it. After this minor detour, it was smooth sailing through the rest of the town of Welland. The few kilometers that we spent walking through the town of Welland flew by. There were lots of things to look at, including drawbridges, other trail goers, and the beautiful canal. But once we were on the other side of Welland, this is where the journey started to get a little monotonous for me. The sun was out by now and it was getting a bit hotter, and it seemed like all the interesting things that surrounded the trail just minutes before were gone. Now, it was nothing but long, never-ending trail ahead of us. There we go, we've been walking for 20 kilometers already, which means we're almost at the halfway point. Not quite, but almost. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, it's getting to be a little harder. work. Still think we can make it the whole way? I think we can, but it's going to take determination. We stopped around kilometer 25 to take a short rest and to eat some food. At about 30 kilometers, which means we have 13 or 14 more to go. Well, we're at about two thirds now. My legs are definitely starting to feel tired. How about you? Uh, they started a long time ago. <laughs> They've continued to feel tired. Hopefully we can find a place, fill up our water bottles. I'm getting a little low on water. Both of us were low on water, and we decided that we would need to refill our water bottles sometime soon. We were approaching the town of Thorold, so we decided we could take a bit of a detour off the trail to find a place to fill our water bottles. But then just a few steps off the trail, we noticed a couple sitting outside on their porch enjoying the warm afternoon. We asked if they could fill our water bottles and they were more than happy to oblige. So kind, thank you so much. Can I give you something for that? No, no, no. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We know the feeling. Taking a little break here at kilometer 34. At this point, I was very ready to be done. My legs and feet were quite sore, and 10 kilometers seemed like such a long ways to go yet. Well, we just hit 40 kilometers. We've come a long way. How are the legs? Oh, getting close to done. I think what we need to give us that extra little bit of that extra little boost of energy is for you to hit that thumbs up button. I think that that'll help. Don't you think so? <laughs> help Absolutely. Give us, yeah. Hit it lots of times. <laughs> With just a few kilometers left, the trail veered away from the canal and took us through a wooded area. Even though our legs and feet were hurting, just knowing that we were so close to the finish line helped us power through the last portion of the trail. Finally, after almost eight hours of walking, we made it to Sunset Park. I've never been so happy to see Lake Ontario. All we had to do now was make it across the beach to the water. I felt a strong sense of accomplishment after having completed this marathon of a walk. But what made this even more special was getting to do it with my dad. I was super proud of him for doing the whole 43.5 kilometers with me and for finishing strong. And also I was impressed. Like I consider myself to be in decent shape, but I honestly wasn't sure who was more exhausted by the end of it, him or me. It very well might have been me. 
He mentioned to me at one point that in a way he's been training for this walk for the past four years. How does it feel to walk across <laughs> Ontario? It's a great accomplishment, but it's, it's tiring. <laughs> And his dedication to walking has led to other benefits besides just being able to walk 43.5 kilometers in a day. I feel better. It gives me more energy. I think that's that's one thing that's been good. Being out in the fresh air, discovering back roads and trails. And that leads me to why my dad is a perfect example of what it means to be an everyday athlete. It's not about breaking world records or winning gold medals or anything like that. It's about slowly building habits in order to become a more active, more healthy version of yourself. That's it. And my dad has been doing that consistently since he started walking regularly. You don't have to walk as far as we did today, but you should walk at least a little bit. Okay, I wanna go home and put my feet up. Thank you for watching our Walk Across Ontario. I hope you now feel inspired to start walking more. Remember, it's never too late to take that first step towards becoming an everyday athlete. And that first step is, of course, being hit that subscribe button. All right, that's it. Uh, stay active out there, and I'll see you next time.